Good morning. Another beautiful day in the Northwest. Ah, cold, but sunball's finally out. So, hey, I was, uh, my friend Lee Richter made this post on Facebook and it was very simple, but man, so powerful. And it was a daily affirmation she had written on a board. And it was simply, I love my life. And it got me thinking, man, do I love my life? And those of you who've been around me for a while, or many years now, know that I absolutely love my life. And I've purposely crafted, become very intentional about my life in the last 10 years, about who I associate with, my activities. I'm very intentional about the things that I do to make sure that I stay in a place where I consistently love my life. Imagine that, right? It got me thinking about so many people there in my life now that feel the same way. They just absolutely love who they are, what they're doing, like my friend Lee Richter. Lee Richter. And there's so few people out there that can really truly look at themselves in the mirror, say, I love you, you're amazing. And how many, how many people can actually do that today? And I, I gotta ask you, can you do that yourself? Can you honestly look at yourself in the mirror and say, man, I love you, you're so amazing. We may have had some hiccups in the past, <laughs> and for some of us, tremendous hiccups. Got our asses handed to us, beat down in so many ways, but you just keep fighting, you just keep coming back. So I ask you, how do you look at your life? Are you living it through the filters of your past? Right, you still have your community, what I call your community glasses on that you were raised by your producers. And those of you that have read my book, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Are you still living your life through your producer's eyes? Or have you become committed, become intentional about living the life that you absolutely have dreamed of? And it really comes down to making a decision. Everybody, we all have some very, very difficult times in our life question is, is are you going to allow that those experiences to define you and I did for basically like four decades of my life and I just said you know what I'm not going to be that guy anymore I'm not going to live that life I choosing to be happy and I'm telling you it was a struggle for a long time to just feel like I wasn't faking it anymore and actually feel actually feel like when I said it I was I, I I was I was telling the truth you know I was really being truthful and you can say all the things you want to other people but when you're all by yourself alone in that moment in those many many moments are you able to say to yourself that you love yourself that you forgive yourself for your past that your whole life is about today and feeling amazing today and aspiring and being excited about your future and the people that are going to be in your future. And I think if we, it, it, there's been a theme here recently uh, with me, of course, and it's, it's more than a theme, but it's, it's really uh, mantra based. It's really about your association, your power of your association, who you're hanging with who you allow to live in your brain space. And that's, again, it's a choice. You know, if you're around negative people all the time, your system, the way you're wired, you're just gonna end up being like them. And so I, I just encourage you to find the right people to help you consistently live and dream about this amazing life that you deserve. So I ask you, are you living your best life? Do you love your life? Cheers.